Australia, a nation built on culture and spirit. A nation well known for its love of sport and love of alcohol, particularly wine. However, with the government's plan to quadruple the cost, could this crush the thirst for cheap wine and damage Australia's livelihood? Our nation drinks a staggering 180 million litres of cask wine a year, which makes up 40% of all wine sold in Australia. Expert Dr Boffer states that by increasing the price to a minimum of $1.20 per standard drinks, lives will be saved. We can cut self-harm, suicides and homicides if we enforce these restrictions as soon as possible. Currently, on average, a standard drink of cask wine, otherwise known as goon, is 30 cents. This is sometimes considered cheaper than water. Casks currently priced at $12 to $15 could skyrocket to $37, which the Australian Health Minister, Nicola Roxon, states will reduce health issues, crime rates and binge drinking. The community spends $36 billion a year on treatment for people who have been affected by cheap wine. By taxing this heavily, we can ensure that the Australian public will benefit greatly. Online polls show that 79% of people are against the tax. Um, I think it's pretty damn outrageous. I think it could help people's health, but I think that there's more important things than just increasing the price of goon. It's more about the social aspect of, um, of drinking. From the people we spoke to, 30% currently drink cask wine. However, with the monumental rise in prices, only a mere 25% of those people will continue to drink it. As a whole, I don't think it's going to affect our sales too much. People will still drink what cast wine. So, with the threat of these huge tax rises, can we expect to see less alcohol-related crimes, accidents and damage due to self-harm? If so, just what will be the cost on the Australian lifestyle? Only time will tell.